Now, they are boys because we know about boys. I just grabbed this off the internet, obviously, because I went on a thing on Google Scholar, found the literature. I'm no expert in boys' education, but that's what it says. That the boys prefer kinds of things that we don't always provide, especially in secondary school. Now, we know about some of this stuff because I've noticed the research on maths education, the way they, they keep the boys and girls sort of together is they, and science, to some, physics to some extent, they vary the assessment. So if you have an open-ended project, you know the girls will perform better. If you have a multiple choice assessment, generally the boys like it better. So you can actually control the balance, gender balance in outcomes in VCE by the kind of assessment. And so people have known that for some time and they've played that game. Um, now the last one surprised me because I, is that your feeling? That's what the literature says and yet I don't feel uncomfortable about that. I would have thought that boys would have preferred working in groups. No? No? No, how many of you agree with that last one? How many disagree? Okay, so there's, yeah I, I, I was surprised. The other I recognised, you know, I could see it in other, other research. Uh, and now, this is the key, of course. And I love the way they said could be. I just, just a quote from a thing on this middle years. But I think that's what's going on. That's why, the, at the moment, um, most of the Ds are boys. It's not who they are, it's the way they are being handled educationally and then emotionally. Any questions on where we've been so far? Because we haven't talked about the theory yet, haven't talked about what to do with them yet. We're just trying to understand them. Any questions? Yeah. Can I just ask, in that study that you did with those 18 children, was there any consideration or I mean, did you find out about the teachers that were teaching and what their preferred learning style and perhaps their teaching style actually was? No. No, but if we take general teachers, they are not kinesthetic and rhythmic teachers. They do not have many minds and very few rap songs in their classroom. So that much we know. And I know in my own teaching. I, I even, as a physics person uh, and a science person, I had to force myself to do role plays in science because I knew it was good for them and I felt like an idiot organising it. But I'd been to PDs which said, I really, you know, you're an electron and you're an at, uh, and this and you're, and now we'll bond a couple of boys together and everyone goes giggle, giggle, giggle and all this sort of stuff. But they, they're, they're supposed to like that sort of stuff and they're moving around and so it makes sense to them. To me, it was a waste of time. I could see it in a picture on their book. You know, I could, I could write on the blackboard. But that's what happened. So, this could be a problem. Any other observations you want to make or reflections in, in for the break? Okay, could I ask somebody, oh, actually I've got another 15 minutes, I'll, I'll make some time first. I want to ask you a question. What is the behaviour patterns of these difficult children? On your table, come up with three different kinds of behaviour that you think these kids exhibit. Do not interpret that behaviour. Don't tell me it's this or it's that or personality based. Just what did they actually do? that made them AD, okay? Can you work that through? Get three interesting ones on a table. I'm going to take what you offer me and try and put in a four boxes. The reason for that is the theory says there are only four kinds of D behaviour, just four. Um, so I'll call them D1, D2, See, this is the linguistic and logical part of it, isn't it? The minute I do this, I would have lost every D in the room. So, let's try. Tell me a behaviour pattern and we should, I'll try and place it. Yes? Me, what, has lots of reasons to leave? No equipment, okay. No equipment, I'm going to write these in. That's, a, that's sad, actually. I'm also absent? This kid also absent? Okay, that's D4. Okay, absent. Leaves class as much as I can. No equipment. That was me in French. 
for which I failed twice. No equipment. Nah, yeah. And okay, that's one kind, that's a classic kind. None of them do. So, and that's an interpretation. Maybe they do, you don't know, but they don't seem to respond to consequences, that's for sure. Yep? Physically and verbally abusive, they go here. Somebody else? Up the back? Oppositional, Oppositional meaning argumentative. Because that's an interpretation. See, the minute you go on oppositional, we've interpreted. So do you mean you say something to them to correct their behaviour and they argue with you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so they could either argue or they could ignore. They go there, you were doing well. What else? Somebody else? Yes? <coughs> Interfering with other students' property. Uh, as in damaging it? Yes, yes. They go here. Somebody else? Self harm goes here. Somebody else? Blaming others could go here. How does it work? Explain what happens. Sets other people up and yeah. well, oh, no. sneaky. Um, does something but blames someone else. Okay, is that because they want to be out of the problem line of fire, or because they want to set that kid up? Probably setting the other. Yeah, that goes here. So setting up would go here. Avoiding punishment could go anywhere. Yes. Shut down, goes here. Yes? Play the victim and then do what with it? That's an interpretation. What, ha what is the behaviour? And they come to you to tell you? Is that what they do or what? But do they tell you about it is, or not? Is, that, is, it, is it something they need to tell you about? Yeah, it's a harder one, it's a harder one. See, if, if I said the child is a problem because she constantly comes to me to tell me that people are picking on her and... When